What is going on everybody? Welcome to part two of the real GP of Zolra. So for this video, I decided to take it up a notch and I want to say thanks quickly to my good friend Bodge69 for letting me borrow his twisted bow so I could put this video together for you guys. So thank you Bodge, I really appreciate it. So the Twisted Bow is one of the most powerful weapons and one of the most desired weapons in old school RuneScape and I'm going to be showing you guys just how good it is at the Zolra boss. Now why might you want to be using a Twisted Bow at Zolra? Well Zolra's mage level is pretty decent and with the Twisted Bow when you're using Amethyst Arrows you can hit a maximum hit of 50 and that works with the damage and accuracy multiplier with the Twisted Bow. Regardless of whether you're using Amethyst or Dragon Arrows, your maximum hit will always be 50. So with the Amethyst Arrows, you are saving quite a bit of money and turning quite a bit more profit. Now if you are going to be using a Twisted Bow at Zolra, well A, you're either hunting for money or B, you might have just dumped your bank for a Twisted Bow. Now if you did just dump your bank for a Twisted Bow, Zolra is going to be one of the best places that you can utilize that new weapon to make some cash back. It is very easy to do Zolra with a Twisted Bow, and like I said in the last video, this isn't a guide, but you can look forward to one of those coming out in early 2019. But let's go ahead and jump right into the gear setup and what I am choosing to use here at Zolra with the Twisted Bow. Now looking at the gear setup, this is going to be probably the bare minimum that you want to restart building your bank with, with a Twisted Bow. Now you've saved up, you know, 1.1 billion GP for a Twisted Bow, what's an extra 15 to 20 mil to get some decent gear to keep going with Zolra? So my suggestion to you is if you are planning to dump your bank for a T-Bow, save a little bit of extra money just so you can get some gear to get going. Now for my gear setup, I am going with the Serpentine Helm because it does make Zolra a little bit easier rather than keeping track of the Anti-Venom Timer, but if you do want to save a few mil, you can go ahead and just use a Bandos Coif instead for the Prayer Bonus and save a few mil. Ava's Assembler, Amulet of Fury, Amethyst Arrows, obviously the Twisted Bow, Bandos Top, Chaps, and Boots, Barrow's Gloves, and a Ring of Suffering. That Ring of Suffering is a little bit expensive but is well worth the price tag at Zolra. In my inventory, I have one Bastion Potion, and if you don't know what that is, it is a ranging potion paired with a super defense potion. They really make life a little bit easier at Zolra because of that defense level boost. Three prayer potions, two Karim wands, quite a few sharks, and a construction cape. If you don't have a construction cape, obviously you're gonna wanna be using house teleport tabs. But ranging Zolra with the Twisted Bow is pretty simple, but I think this setup makes it even more simplistic and a lot easier to make some cash back. Alright, so we got the gear out of the way, let's go ahead and get into what kind of supplies that I use. Now from the last video, the supplies were a little bit steep. It did cost me quite a bit to do Zolra with the Serpentine Helm as well as the Blowpipe and the Trident of the Swamp. Scales a lot. As for the Twisted Bow, supplies used, 7,020 scales in the Serpentine Helm, the equivalent of 78 rings of recoils with the charges from the Ring of Suffering, 116 Prayer Potions, 33 Bastion Potions, 1,139 Sharks, and 85 Karambuan. Now this is looking a lot better in the Supply Cost Department because of the Twisted Bow and uh, what you do not use with the Blowpipe and the Trident of the Swamp. Now all of this, all added up, ended up netting me a 4,200,040 GP price tag for supplies used. Now, as for the timing statistics, this actually surprised me quite a bit. I thought that the kills were going to be significantly faster than the blowpipe trident method, but they actually weren't. My average kill time with the Twisted Bow was 2 minutes and 3 seconds, which is only 3 seconds faster than I was killing it with the trident and the blowpipe. Now, adding in my between kill times, which is the time that it took me to pick up the loot and return to Zolra to start the next kill, was about 12 seconds. So I'm looking at an average kill time of 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Now, with the Twisted Bow, obviously, it's a lot easier. You don't have to change gear. You just have to switch prayers. And that allowed me to get 5 to 6 kills a trip, depending on whatever damage I took and how hard the snakelings hit me but I ended up averaging 25 kills per hour with this gear and the twisted bow now as for the total time that it took me to do 250 kills with the twisted bow it ended up being 9.86 hours so very close to 10 hours 
So all in all, not bad for timing. I am pretty happy with those times. Two minutes and three seconds a kill. Not bad for the kind of profit that you're bringing in per kill, especially with the Twisted Bow. As for the loot, 57,143 Zulrus scales, which is just a little bit more than my last video, but averages are going to vary. We will have a good average by the time I hit that 1,000 kill mark. That ended up getting me 10.7 mil. Only one unique again through these past 250 kills, which was a Magic Fang, which isn't bad because of the drop rate. I could see, I could definitely be able to see one, and I'm pretty much right on the line for two uniques per 250 kills. Five Dragon Meds, three Dragon Halberds. The runes were a little on the low side here, but I still ended up coming pretty close to the total gross value. As far as the herbs were concerned, saw a lot of Toad Flax, 200 of those. Magic Seeds were pretty good, 11 of those. Nine Palm Seeds, which is also a decent chunk of change. The Zolandra Teleports, a lot of those, 156 for a 3.7 mil stack. 210 Battle Staffs, 1.7 mil. And unfortunately, in there's a rare drop table, drop the Dragon Left Half Shield. A little salty about that, but it's okay. So all of this loot coming to a gross value of 33,330,154 GP. Just a little bit short of my last video, but it is close enough. And now getting into the money made statistics. Like I said, gross value 33,330,154 GP. And as I said earlier, supply costs ended up being 4,200,040 GP, which gives me a total profit of 29,130,114 GP. Now, even though my overall gross value was a little bit lower, all of those supplies I saved by using the Twisted Bow really bumped up that profit per hour that we're gonna find out right now. So with these statistics, my gross value per kill ended up being 133,320 GP, while my profit per kill was 116,520 GP which is a difference of 17,000 GP, which isn't bad at all. Supplies used per kill, 17,000, not bad at all. So rounding all this together, my total profit per hour at Zolra with the Twisted Bow becomes 2,954,373 GP. Now scale prices are a little bit low right now, which that number could be Definitely over 3 million GP per hour if scales were still around 225, 230 each, but they are in a little bit of a low spot right now. But even still, almost 3 million GP per hour with the Twisted Bow at Zalra, very good money maker. You could literally be back on your feet in a matter of hours if you dump your bank for a Twisted Bow. So yeah, that is going to do it, guys. If you are looking to dump your bank for a Twisted Bow, this is where you're going to want to be. Come to Zalra, you're going to make a ton of money. You do have to pay a little bit of attention, but overall, it is definitely, definitely worth it. But that is just about going to wrap up this Zelra video. If you liked this video, please go ahead and tap that thumbs up down below. They really help the video's popularity. And if you haven't done so yet, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button on your way out. All of your support means a ton to me. I really appreciate it. And if you choose, you can pledge to my Patreon to help support my channel, keep the content coming, and keep the good content flowing. So with that, guys, I will see you guys on the next Zolra video. Take it easy, everybody. Yeah.